welcome back to this new session here. We finished a moment ago, a little while ago, with an asana practice, with a movement practice, concentrating on the exhalation, this getting rid and sending out of the energy. I'm going to share with you now a breathing exercise that is quite uh, appropriately called the increased exhalation. The increased exhalation is exactly that, taking the breath in a counted cycle, and uh, as we progress deeper into the practice, each time you exhale, we'll add one count to it. So just as a general example, if we start at five on an inhale, we will do five exhale. Five inhale, five exhale, just to set a rhythm, five inhale, five exhale. Then we start to play. Five inhale, six exhale. Six inhale, seven exhale. Seven inhale, eight exhale exhale. Because in theory, as we use these lengthening increased exhalations, there is creating room and a need for the inhale to become more complete and more full. Uh, as this is also standing in as a, as a guide for yoga teachers, we will also have a little bit of an experience of paying attention to the teaching method and the counting and the way that this is taught so that hopefully you all can share this with your students wherever you are in the world doing this program. So with that in mind, um, just as you are having your experience, just also keep it somehow running in the back of the head the way in which I'm counting. This is an exercise that is safe for most all practitioners. Um, even beginners, it's actually quite nice for beginners because if we said to a beginning student, we will inhale for a count of 10 and exhale for a count of 10, there might be a bit of anxiety and nervousness. So I always like to start with five and I usually build it up to a count of 10. I'll be keeping a rhythm in my head and counting out loud. If, while I am counting the length of the breath, you feel any anxiety, any strain, anything uh, extra nervous energy, my recommendation is just to pause. Not pause breathing, but just pause with the exercise. You know, take a round or two, let it settle down, and continue picking up at your own pace. This is something for you to take and build into your own breathing exercises to increase the capacity of your breathing by using the exhale to grow. Okay? So if nervousness, anxiety, any, any kind of strain comes in, it's okay. Just stop the technique, center yourself. Because ultimately, all of these practices are about figuring out who am I? So when we add this layer of stress and strain, there are some techniques that say, let's break through the barriers and the frontiers. Uh, we are not those teachers. When there is a sense of anxiety or something really powerful coming, just pause and then get yourself back to a more centered state. And then if it feels appropriate, join in the exercise. Um, one of the factors of inefficient breathing was poor posture. For this exercise, I recommend a tall spine. So if you wish or need to elevate your seat, sitting on a block, a rolled up blanket, or if sitting on the floor is not comfortable for you, you can totally do this sitting in a chair with your legs bent, and normally sitting in a chair, and have a tall straight spine. The tall straight spine is also not meant to be rigid like a soldier, but elegant like a tree rising towards the sun. So more of this kind of tall, elegant spine. Uh, another thing in regards to posture is that oftentimes when, when sitting for a breathing or a meditative practice, there tends to be a, a pitching forward just because of gravity, muscle, tissue, things like this, we tend to lean forward. So from time to time, I always encourage and recommend 
just to lean back until you can feel the weight of your two sitting bones. And, and you will feel quite literally the weight reaching down to the bones. And once the weight is on the bones themselves, rather than being pulled from the top, have the sense that from those two roots, like that elegant tree, you can grow from the inside to have that tall, elegant spine. We will do this practice just with the hands turned down onto the legs in a natural, neutral position. Uh, I would encourage eyes closed, and again, if that makes you extra nervous or it adds a layer of fear, it's just not your thing, take care of yourself. First and foremost, make sure that you feel comfortable in the state that you are asking yourself, who am I, through a breathing technique. Okay. So make sure that you have a tall and elegant spine, that you feel relatively comfortable. If it feels okay and safe for you, close the eyes and rest the hands onto the knees. And first, without any control of your breath, just observe the state of your breath. The depth, the speed, the consistency, perhaps even the temperature. Assuming that the nasal passages are clean, sense the air passing through the nose, and maybe there's a scent or a smell. Consciously relax the muscles around your eyeballs and the back of your tongue. And we'll begin the technique by all together exhaling the air out of your body. All together breathing in five, four, three, two, one, pause. And now exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhaling, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhaling, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time, just like that. Inhaling, five, four, three, two, one. One, exhaling five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling five, four, three, two, one, pause. And now we exhale six, five, four, three, two, one. Matching that new number, inhaling six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, exhaling six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhaling six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. And let's grow. Exhaling seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhaling seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and become aware of the feeling of being full of air. And exhale seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and rest in the feeling of being empty. Inhaling seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Exhaling eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and sit in the emptiness. Inhaling eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, pause in the fullness and stay with the air in. Just 
internally relax any gripping. Exhaling eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and in the emptiness, relax any gripping. Inhaling eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Exhaling nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhaling nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Soften the gripping. Again, exhaling nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Soften the gripping. Inhaling nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And exhale ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhaling ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and sit in the fullness of life. Make sure there's weight on your sitting bones. And exhaling ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit in the emptiness. Relax, gripping. One more cycle, inhaling ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause at the top and swallow to soften. And again, exhaling ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Rest in the emptiness. Release any gripping. Three, two, one. Relax the muscles. Uncontrolled natural breathing. And with this uncontrolled natural breathing, pay attention to the internal landscape. Who has been breathing? Who am I? Very delicately blink the eyes open, returning back to the external world. Just like exercising biceps and triceps for push-ups, these exercises, this one in particular, is a wonderful tool for expanding breath capacity. Whether or not you could get all the way to the full count of 10 at the inhale or the exhale during this moment doesn't make such a difference. The intention is that it is an ongoing practice to be done with discipline and patience and compassion for yourself, that the breath capacity expands in its nature. 
So this was the increased exhalation breathing technique. We will have it uh, maybe once or twice more in this session, maybe not. We will see how it goes, but you will always be able to repeat it in the videos. Any questions that might be serving to you or to anyone? Yes, please, Francesca. The question, yes, the question was whether to use ujjayi uh, breathing technique or just normal uncontrolled breath. Um, I did not specify. In this one, I would probably say without ujjayi because ujjayi instinctively or inherently is condensing the throat here and adding a bit of pressure to the breath. And the intention here is to expand. It could be done with the ujjayi pranayama, um, but I would say for the intention of expanding breath capacity without. And I have another question. Please. Uh, during the exhalation, uh, it's okay if you contract the pelvic floor? Yes, the question was about contracting the pelvic floor either during or at the end of the exhalation. Absolutely fine. Um, energetically, contracting the pelvic floor prevents leakage of energy. Physiologically, it also does help with the exhale because as we've learned already, these muscles of the abdominal muscles and, and a lot of other things are drawing in to help the air go out. And especially while you are forcing the exhale in order to add that extra digit, it will give a little bit of muscular power in order to grow the breath. Okay, thank you all very much. See you next round.